This week, we are talking about nitrate dosing. Welcome back, fellow reefers. This week, I wanted to do a video on nitrate dosing. I had a viewer comment that asked, what was I dosing? The answer to that is right here. I'm using green leaf potassium nitrate. If you look this product up on YouTube, there are many videos to show you exactly how to mix it. So we will not be going into detail about how to do that being it is mixed according to what your aquarium volume is and how much of that you dose depends on the size of your aquarium. You can go to James's Planted Tank, which I'll leave a link in the description below that has a calculator if you decide to go this route and dose nitrates into your system. Now, if you're not struggling to keep nutrients in your system, I would not recommend dosing this. If you don't actively test for nitrates, I would not recommend that you dose this. This product is great if your aquarium is sitting fallow. As there are no fish in your system, there are not going to be nutrients in there from them feeding. So dosing this product will do the job for you. It is easily overdosed, so please use a calculator and dose slowly. Do not be in a hurry to go from zero ppm nitrates to three or four ppm nitrates overnight. Your corals do not like fast swings of any parameter. Take your time. Dose over a two week time to raise the nitrates to your desired level. I mix mine in a bottled water. This keeps my mix consistent each and every time. And that is on the calculator as well. Not the bottled water, but the amount of water you plan to mix with it. The only issue I have really found with this product as you can see, it grows mold inside the container that you choose to keep the mixed solution in. So if you have a nano or a small tank or only need a little bit once a week, I would find a smaller container such as a 100 ml urine sample container like this to hold your solution in as to not waste your mix. However, I have had my jar for well over a year not to mention at $5, can you honestly complain if it gets moldy and you have to pour it down the drain? Has it improved my tank and or corals? Well, I don't see any color enhancement yet, but what I have noticed is the fact that my corals are no longer wanting to bleach out from being starved. Color will come in time. So many factors play a part in that alone and that is a completely different subject for another video. So if you're in desperate needs of nutrients in your system, try Greenleaf. I've been happy with this product and I highly recommend it. I hope this helped you in your quest for nutrients such as nitrates. So until then, we'll see you on the next one.